Welcome. Welcome to the APAC Innovation Showcase. One one thousandth of the world's population. The 153rd smallest country in the world. Almost no natural resources. Borders under frequent attack and a need for 24-7, 360-degree surveillance and vigilance to survive. Not exactly what you'd call the ideal formula for a country to become a world leader in science, innovation, and technology. But that's exactly what we've seen with Israel. Today, we're going to showcase for you some jaw-dropping Israeli technologies and developments, ranging from cutting-edge research to things that you can own yourself. But we're not just going to show you cool stuff up here on stage. You're going to meet the actual scientists, inventors, and CEOs who made these breakthroughs possible. For our next amazing Israel innovation, we have Shahar Abu Khatsira and U.S. Army Sergeant First Class Sean Sandin, and we have two MTIGGER robots. We're going to see a development now that is today saving American lives in Afghanistan. Sergeant Sandin, uh, you're in uh, civilian clothes uh, because you're with uh, assigned where right now? I'm assigned to the Asymmetric Warfare Group. And you've been deployed overseas? Yes, to Iraq and Afghanistan. With what uh, branch of the service? Uh, with the 2nd Airborne Division, Explosive Ordnance Disposal Units, and my current unit. Thank you for your service to our country. Shahar, what's the origin of RoboTeam? Well, Roboteam, like many other small startups, Israeli companies, established only three years ago in a small grandmother apartment of one of our founders. And we had a dream. We had a dream to make state-of-the-art small machines to better protect our soldiers in the battlefield. And uh, I understand you came to be a, a, a supplier, a main supplier to the U.S. government, kind of an unusual story. Yeah, we, we have a story that maybe tells the whole Israeli spirit story. Uh, we heard a year ago that a uh, high rank and uh, officer from the Department of Defense is coming to Israel. So we begged him to, to see us and our product, which is were in uh, the early days. And of course, that we were nothing back then, so he didn't want to come to see us. So we knew where he's staying. So we just waited in the lobby with the robots. Uh, we did like an ambush and the, and a year after that, we have hundreds of systems de deployed that all around the world. Amazing. Um, so why don't you show us a demonstration? I understand one of the most difficult things for a robot is to climb steps. Show yeah. us how, how you climb steps. Yeah, the, the new battlefield is an urban battlefield, and you have stairs. And stairs is a challenging obstacle for robots, especially small, small robots. And the m which is very small and light, it's actually the lightest platform in the world that can climb stairs, and as you saw, it, it's, it can climb any kind of stairs and do it easily. Sergeant Sandin, how would you like to have had a uh, m tigger when you were deployed in Afghanistan? Are you kidding me? I would have killed for one of those. <laughs> so, uh, Shahar, why is your company, <laughs> why is your company uh, particularly good at building? Why is it that your robots are better than all these other companies out there? Well, the, the, 100% of robot teams, engineers, software uh, programmers, management, all of them are ex-combat soldiers, ex-special uh, forces uh, officers. This uh, brought us the knowledge to create systems that are ready for the field. We so all your engineers are soldiers, soldiers. also. Like 100%. You. Yeah, like myself. And I understand during the recent conflict in Gaza, it was a little chance to do some testing. Yeah, it's, it's also a nice story. We, we, when we finished the first line of products, we want to test it, and then the, the operation in Gaza started. So we said it's a good, great chance to check the systems. So this is what we did. Half of the company went to reserve activity, so each, each, uh, each employee got a system to test it in the field, and, and it was successful. And tell me uh, briefly, what is this robot that MTIGER brought us? Yeah, so the MTIGER is the lightest in the world, and it's small, but this is the IRIS. It's even smaller. It's our miniature platform still in, in development phase, and we like to call it the third eye. 
where the soldiers don't want to, to push his head when he don't, if he don't want to go to underground tunnels. So he just tossed the robot, tossed the little iris, and this is how he is uh, saving his life. Basically. And these exact models right now are operating in Afghanistan with U.S. forces. These exact models are active in Afghanistan, in Gaza, in the West Bank, and in other places. Ladies world. and gentlemen, Shahar Abu Katsria, Sergeant Sandin, Robo Team. Thank you.